Welcome back to our video series on weather search and forecasting model. So in past uh, two videos, we looked at how to set up the basic environment for uh, a weather search and forecasting model. In today's video, we will I will demonstrate I will demonstrate you how to install these different libraries and how to set up the environment in the BSRC file so that whenever you run the WRF, it will be able to find where these libraries are, in, are installed. So uh, there are two ways to install. Either you can directly go to the respective website of these different software or and from there you can directly download them. Or the much easier way is to simply use wgate uh, software, wgate command and uh, use simply the URL of WRF website where this is available. So use this one. So I will uh, put a link in the description of this video to download this file, which, which I am using here to, uh, to install WRF on this particular system. So this file, WRF installation.sh will be available to download in the description. So copy this uh, link for netcdf and uh, just use wgate command following, following which you just need to paste this link. Okay? And make sure that you are in WRF installation build WRF in libraries. Okay. So you can make this library directory anywhere in your system, but it is more appropriate to have it put, make this directory where it can be recognized easily and you will be able to remember where you have placed them. So just I'm assuming that you have this uh, some folder library in your system or you can make using the mkdir command. So just hit enter and the download process will start automatically and will be finished in few seconds, depending on the internet speed in your system. So once it is installed, so it is saved as netcdf tar.jg.1 because I already have one previous file. That's why it is adding one more extension.1. So what we have to do, we have to untar it first. Okay, so use tar xbzf and netcdf and tar dot gz and one. If you, okay, so it will untar it. Now go to netcdf folder. Once you untar it, it will create a folder. Go inside it. What do you have to do after this? You have to actually uh, open your base RC file. Okay. So you can uh, use any simple command to open this. So use, you can use gedit if you have the admin privilege. If it is restricted by admin pr privileges, you can use sudo before opening it gedit uh, okay so this is all mostly in the home directory so so this slash forward slash is for home directory okay delta uh, forward slash base rc dot base rc so we are opening this base rc file so once it is open, uh, what we have to do, we have to simply use these. You, we have to copy these different uh, different paths and we have to paste here. Okay. So once you paste, it will be available like this. The important point here is that you make, should make sure that this directory path is the same directory path where you have actually downloaded and untarred the 
netcdf file so this library this path is corresponding to my system library folder so you have to adjust where you are installing in your system okay accordingly now what we have to do after this is to simply source this okay source means we first you have to save it okay so how there are two ways to save it so you can simply close it or in in shift s i guess or ctrls so it will save this if you are using gedit so ctrl then press s so it will save this gedit file now what we have to do we have to source it source press rc so when once you once this is done it, it will be available for the all current session so after this process what we have to do uh we have to go to i'm sorry okay so we have to go to the path which we are already in the path, cdf folder now we have to configure it first okay so for that you have to just copy this from this file okay and just paste here okay so this will configure your netcdf file or netcdf uh, library it may take few seconds so, and now it is done now clear it up now after that you have to use the make and then make install just these two I'm sorry make okay. and then make ins tall okay so in the final it will show you congratulations you have successfully successfully installed the netcdf file netcdf library so this is the installation part now what we have to do we have to uh Hope again open the base rc file and we have to put the path where we have installed this netcdf file netcdf library rather so just open your base rc and put these two paths okay just copy and these put these two paths and then source the I'm sorry. Press RC. Okay, once it is sourced, you are all done with the NetCDF. So you can uh, which NC dump, which NC you will be able to find the path. So if it is it is showing which end NC dump, if it is the uh, I mean if it is giving the path of the correct path then we are all done if it is not if it is giving some error or it is blank then we need to check whether installation has been successful or not so this is all about the netcdf file netcdf library installation in the second in the next video we will be looking at mpage installation so i think it will be bigger videos i, I am just just splitting these uh, big video into different different parts so that it will be easier for you to follow along so thank you very much for watching and I will be looking forward to seeing you in the next video. If you like this video, please like it, share with your friends who might be in need and also uh, comment if you find any suggestions and if you want to give any advice how to improve this content and what other different videos you would like to see in this channel. So yeah, that's all about it for today. Thank you very much and I, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.